Welcome back to Mental Math. This is the Basel problem. What's the sum of 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared and so on forever? For nearly a century, it stumped the greatest minds in mathematics until a young Leonhard Euler found a solution of breathtaking ingenuity. That is, 1 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 16, and so on forever. We know this series converges to some finite number, but what exactly is it? Here's the brilliant idea. Euler took a single function and expressed it in two completely different ways, then compared them. The first representation comes from the Maclaurin series for sine. This expresses sine of x as an infinite polynomial. To get the function Euler needed, we divide everything by x. Dividing each term by x gives us this. So our first representation is sine x over x as a power series. Hold on to this. Now for the second representation. Euler had this daring idea that just like a finite polynomial, you could express an infinite polynomial as a product of its roots. First, we need the roots. Sine of x equals 0 at every integer multiple of pi. We exclude x equals 0, because at that point, sine at x over x actually equals 1, not 0. Using the product formula, we express our function as this infinite product, with a term for each root. Watch what happens when we pair up the terms. The difference of squares formula says 1 minus a times 1 plus a equals 1 minus a squared. This simplifies beautifully. So this is our second representation of the same function. Here's where it gets beautiful. Since both forms represent the same function, the coefficients of each power of x must match exactly. Let's find the coefficient of x squared on both sides. On the left, it's straightforward. The coefficient of x squared from the power series is negative 1 over 3 factorial, which is negative 1 sixth. Now, for the interesting part, finding the x squared coefficient from the infinite product. How do we get an x-squared term when we expand this? We get an x-squared term by picking the x-squared part from one bracket and multiplying it by the one from every other bracket. We do this for every bracket in the product. This gives us a sum of all the x-squared terms. Now we factor out x-squared to find the coefficient. So the coefficient of x squared from the product side is this sum in parentheses. Now we equate the coefficients from both sides. We're incredibly close. Let's multiply everything by negative 1 to clean this up. Now we factor out 1 over pi squared from the right side. And look what's inside the parentheses. It's the original Basel problem we started with. 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared. Let me write this in summation form. To isolate the sum, we multiply both sides by pi squared. And there it is. The sum equals pi squared over 6, one of the most unexpected and beautiful results in all of mathematics. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed seeing how Euler cracked the Basel problem, hit that like button and subscribe for more beautiful mathematics. See you next time.